Speaking of public service, of course, we featured a lot of elected officials here on the 208 over the last few months in the heat of the legislative session. And if you watch local politics over the last few weeks, you might have noticed one public servant pulling double duty and later a triple duty. Boise City Council President Holly Woodings has worked three roles in three weeks to help out her colleagues. Her elected position on City Council, filling it at the state legislature, and through this weekend, interim mayor of Boise. So, what's the whirlwind like for her? Throughout the month of March, Boise City Council President Holly Woodings has had a lot on her plate. Okay, here's what meetings I'm in. Here's which role I'm in. And so, do I have to wear a suit or not wear a suit? <laughs> the internal conversation is based on the external conditions, serving as a public servant in three very different ways. Okay, the first thing I'd like to do is that we know that you're not representing Matthias, and we actually have a, a nameplate for you, and so Secretary Benson went to get it. Welcome, Representative Woodings. We're glad to have you here. Thank you, and I, I admit that I'm new to this body as of today, and so I'm trying to play a little bit of catch up, but um, Madam Chair and... Um, and representative. For a run in March, Woodings was back in the state legislature where she used to serve, filling in this time for Boise Representative Chris Mathias. Representative Mathias had reached out to me well in advance um, asking if I could fill in for a few days during March for his children's spring break. Um, and so, yeah, I agreed to do it. And so it had been on my calendar a long time. And the constituents, they got their money's worth. Woodings was not just there to fill a seat. It's actually kind of fun because, of course, I follow all the public affairs in the state and the city and the counties. And so stepping into that role, I got to ask questions that I don't get to ask as a member of city council. Uh, and that part was really fun. The public service circuit continued this week for Woodings. Boise Mayor Lauren McLean announced that she was going to take a few days away to recover from a skiing injury surgery. So, queue up Woodings for another role. It's actually pretty quiet. You know, this city has so many fantastic people working here. Um, everyone does their job incredibly well. And so I've been able to participate in some different conversations than what I would normally get to do as a member of city council. That's been a lot of fun. And otherwise it's been kind of business as usual from a city perspective. Madam Mayor, I move we adjourn. Second. We have a motion and a second. So check the boxes. City councilor, state lawmaker, and interim city mayor, all in one month. Woodings took to Twitter to say, March coming in like a lion, also out like one too. So what's the takeaway from a tour of public service? In every level, it's really the same thing. You need to be prepared. You need to do your reading beforehand. Be prepared with questions that you want to ask. And I think above all, maintain a level of decorum and respect toward your fellow lawmakers and the people who show up to testify and you know share their concerns. And I think that that's the most important thing about it. Wooding says if you think her whirlwind march sounds fun, she suggests taking a look at jumping into public service yourself. We have public servants in this state from all walks of life with all different experiences and um, and I've met with a few folks who are interested in stepping into public service. And I would encourage anyone to, you know, kind of nourish that curiosity if you have it and, uh, and learn more about what public servants do and what it's all about. I asked Woodings if it's a sigh of relief to just go back to being the just city council president. She laughed and she explained that while it is nice to, for now, have a singular focus, she says the city of Boise, as we know, gearing up for a busy politics season.